on Saturday night, September the 10th, the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel presents to you our fifth WWE 2K22 Universe Mode live premiere event. It's WWE Judgment Day. Eight matchups signed for the event, plus several major announcements will be made on that show that'll truly shake the WWE to its very core. After a summer full of loss after loss, the messiah of the WWE, Seth Rollins, was looking to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim his career back at Extreme Rules. When the knowledge that RVD would be returning on that event surfaced, Seth Rollins saw an opportunity to make a huge blast and get back in the winning ways. Unfortunately for Rollins, Rob Van Dam came to Seattle with a plan and was able to knock off the messiah in just a matter of minutes. RVD continued on the following night on Raw, where he defeated Rollins' disciple Murphy as well. After RVD suffered a loss in the WWE Championship Eliminator, Seth Rollins once again saw an opportunity to bounce back. He challenged RVD to a tag team bout at Judgment Day, which RVD accepted and said he would reveal his partner this past week on Monday Night Raw. Jeff Hardy made his return to the ring for the first time since SummerSlam on June 26 and defeated John Morrison in one-on-one -on -one action. As Hardy was revealed as RVD's tag team partner, the matchup was officially signed and made into a no disqualifications tornado tag team rules match. So the question remains on if September the 10th will finally be the night that Rollins' bad luck runs out, or is the combination of the whole damn show and the extreme enigma going to be too much for the messiah and his disciple to handle? It's a grudge match of mega proportions. The almighty Bobby Lashley in recent weeks has set his sights on the phenomenal AJ Styles. These issues date all the way back to our first Universe Mode live premiere event backlash, which took place on April the 11th of this year. On that night, AJ Styles dethroned Bobby Lashley from the top spot in the WWE as the WWE Champion. After a struggling summer for the Hurt Business, Lashley has kept the receipts on everyone who he believed caused his downward spiral. Lashley recruited Omos to join the ranks of the Hurt Business, and over the last few weeks, through victory or defeat, Omos has laid waste to both AJ Styles and Matt Riddle. There is an obvious score that needs to be settled, and these two warriors are going to be heading to the battlegrounds to make the final shot. It's a rematch nearly five months to the day in the making. Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, who is the better man? We will find out in one week's time. Over the course of two weeks, we witnessed four of the best wrestlers in WWE compete in the midst of a WWE Championship Eliminator. After Drew McIntyre and Rob Van Dam fell out of contention, there are only two competitors that remain. Mustafa Ali has recent wins over Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, RVD, and John Cena. He is the best he has ever been in his career, but is about getting your hand raised where it matters most. And with a shot at the WWE Championship on the line, will Ali thrive under pressure yet again to score the pinfall? The Apex Predator Randy Orton has turned over a familiar leaf in recent months, but yet has become more dangerous and destructive than ever. Randy Orton's goal is simple. He doesn't care who may stand in the Viper's path. The snake will strike at the most opportune time. Orton wants the chance to win his 15th World Championship in WWE, but he has to keep down the man who has felt most at home in big match situations the last few months. It's Mustafa Ali versus Randy Orton. Two men enter, but only one will leave the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Ricochet has stood atop the Cruiserweight division for 69 days and counting as the champion. He has stepped inside the squared circle with some of the best pound for pound wrestlers at 205 and under. Ricochet has earned victories over Santos Escobar. He's retained his gold over Isaiah Swerve Scott, but now a new challenger steps forward. An experienced tag team wrestler breaks out into the single scene in the cruiserweight division with wins over Drew Gulak, as well as Kushida. Alpha Academy's own Chad Gable has earned the chance to put gold around his waist yet again. A decorated tag team champion throughout his career is looking to win his first singles title in the WWE. Chad Gable believes he can out-wrestle Ricochet, but he has to figure out how to stop the one and only's aerial offense to do so. The prestigious Cruiserweight Championship is at stake when Gable and Ricochet lock horns in Denver. August 9th on Monday Night Raw, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic challenged Dominic and Rey Mysterio for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. They came up with defeat on that night, but one loss didn't keep Priest and Dijakovic down. They fought back and entered a three-team elimination matchup for the right to become the number one contenders for the duo's gold. 
Dijakovic got the pinfall on that night and captured the top contendership for his team. After these four men tore down the house on Raw, it's time to run it back live for the world to witness. The Mysterios have been untouchable for months, even before they won the championships back at SummerSlam and all the way since. Dominic and Ray beating every team that has stood across from them. Los Lotharios, Lucha House Party, Alpha Academy, Legato Del Fantasma, Danny Burch, Oni Lorcan, the Viking Raiders, the Mysterios have beaten them all. But has the toll of being on top been taken on Dominic and Rey Mysterio? The father and son duo may be stronger than ever, but it can be argued that Priest and Dijakovic are hungrier than ever. This match promises to be competition at its best, and it's all for the right to be called the WWE Tag Team Champions of the World. If you want to talk about dominant champions, look no further than the woman that has ruled with an iron fist over the women's division in WWE, the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka has tapped out victim after victim ever since she won the gold back at SummerSlam. Casey Catanzaro, Shotzi, and Bianca Blair have all tried and have all failed to dethrone the Empress. Now two new contenders emerge to try to do the same. Both Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan have been on winning streaks for well over a month, hence the reason for the triple threat affair. That was until Liv Morgan pinned Alexa Bliss's shoulders to the mat this past Monday Night on Raw in the midst of tag team warfare. Will the momentum for either challenger be enough to withstand the onslaught of the champion, or will Asuka's reign of dominance and control continue on past September the 10th? No rivalry in recent history has gotten more brutal and personal than the issues between the current reigning Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne and the black heart of WWE, Tommaso Ciampa. It was back on Raw after Extreme Rules when Ciampa made his main roster debut from NXT, ambushing the Bruiserweight before his scheduled matchup. One brawl led to another the last number of weeks as Ciampa made his intentions clear that he was coming for the Intercontinental Championship by any means necessary. Even even after the matchup for Judgment Day was signed on the dotted line, Champa continued to escalate the situation by attacking Pete Dunne in the locker room area. This bled out on the top of the entrance stage, where Champa's actions shocked us all when he shoved Pete Dunne off the stage and down to the concrete below. We have learned that Pete Dunne luckily didn't suffer any sidelining injuries, but is feeling worse for wear after taking such a harsh fall. He's got his shoulder and ribs taped up as we saw on Thursday night's main event. But nothing is going to stop Pete Dunne from getting his ultra-violent retribution on the man who tried to put him on the shelf for good. The Intercontinental Championship is the sole focus of the Blackheart, but for the Bruiserweight, it's about defending the gold as well as his self-dignity. We expect a brutal showcase on both sides of the squared circle coming up at Judgment Day. In the main event, the richest prize in this industry, the WWE Championship of the World will be defended. The number one contender, the rated R Superstar Edge, takes on the WWE Champion all day, Austin Theory. This all began when these men were the final two of five in an elimination challenge back at Extreme Rules. The 25-year-old stud shocked the world when he upset the Hall of Famer, pinning his shoulders to the canvas with no questions asked and leaving Seattle, beginning his first WWE Championship reign. In the last few months, we witnessed Theory get better and better, win after win, after defeating the likes of Randy Orton, Riddle, and John Cena. Edge fought so hard to obtain number 12, and it all went up in smoke in a matter of moments, but to achieve his 13th World Championship, Edge is going to have to fight even harder than before. At this stage in his career, can Edge keep up with the young excellence of the WWE Champion, or is Theory in over his head, and is he in for a rude awakening on September the 10th? It's the main event for the WWE Championship, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. Austin Theory defends his gold versus Edge. The day of reckoning inches near, but for whom among the WWE superstars? We will find out who will pass judgment and who will perish in defeat on Saturday night, September the 10th, 2022, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a must-see live premiere event. Stay tuned for the special Road to Vignettes over the next week in the lead up to September 10th, and we will see you live in Denver at WWE Judgment Day.
face on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.